Welcome to STAB's Two Board Quiver Review, where we test out a few Indonesian-made boards at the world's best surfing destination, Kandui Resort. This time, we'll be testing boards from Channel Islands via onboard store Bali, the Too Happy Shortboard and the Happy Traveler Step Up. First up, the Too Happy. I actually rode the original version of this board, the Happy, when it was first released a few years back. I thought it was like an incredible, incredible shortboard for good waves, but it definitely needed power and curve in the face to work. With the Too Happy, CI toned the curves down a little, made it beefier so that the everyday surfer could ride it in more everyday waves. But of course the waves in Indonesia are anything but. I thought the Too Happy worked great in the tube. It was really stable, it loved to hold a line, and yeah, it just seemed like a board that you could rely on. But when I got into more sort of performance-y conditions, I thought it felt a little floaty and stiff. I often found myself catching on turns in tight pockets, and I just didn't really have the control that I wanted on the face of the wave. And because the waves were so good at Kandui, I often found myself wanting something more sharp and refined. This brings us to the Happy Traveler, a step up. When I'm looking for a step up, I want a board that paddles well and never feels like it'll skip out on a bottom turn, but also something that's not so stiff that you can't rip it on the open face. The first time I went to turn the Happy Traveler, I had some serious fin issues. Typically in a step up, I'll ride a smaller set of fins and let the extended rail line do the job of kind of holding in. But the way that the rocker and bottom contours work on this board, the tail was lifting and I was basically skipping out and sliding all over the place. But a minor fin change seemed to fix the issue and the Happy Traveler kind of stepped into a different gear. Oh, and that's my wife, by the way. I promise I'm not usually that much of a dick. Once the fin situation was sorted, we took the Happy Traveler to a more step-up worthy wave and the board did everything I asked of it and more. Overall, the Channel Islands boards worked well, but they weren't my favorite two-board Indonesian quiver. That'll be coming soon. <laughs>